It's your Bitcoin Pablo, and check it out, man. We got us a scary sight right here, man. Three sons killed in one week, man. In New Orleans, let's check it out, bro. Well, that violent crime has left so many families reeling, and while some arrests have been made, giving families some closure, others are left in the dark. Well, that is the case for the family of Brian Bradley and Brandon Veal. An unbelievable story we told you about in Eyewitness News one year ago. Three brothers murdered within seven days of each other. Oh. Now, from the time of their murders in February of last year until today, the Metropolitan Crime Commission recorded nearly 300 more homicides, leaving the Veal brothers' father to wonder if he'll ever get justice in his son's brutal murders. Here's my special report in the dark, a family search for answers. What the hell were they mixed up in? Like, they like, in the gang or something? Nigga really like athletes, I ain't gonna lie. Three generations together. This your yeah. big daddy. You gonna know who this is, man, regardless. Yeah. You gonna know who this is. You have to. I see you, boy. This who you gonna rely on if something ever happened to me, man. Yeah, man, well, you weren't even supposed to be talking like that. We ask that you be with us in this service, Lord, that you would strengthen Damn. this family, Lord, my family. That you will hold us up. It's just such a senseless ambush. They love their family and their family. They really extra out for the gunshots in the background. This is a news clipping. I think. They really extra out for the for the gunshots in the background. Love them dearly. I've saw reports of people losing multiple children in their lives, but three in one week, you know, man, it is just it's just it's insane. They were each other's best friends. We would not give up. We would not stop. All these murders, it's every night. A barrage of bullets. There's been a lot of violence in the city of New Orleans. Kids are supposed to bury them. Like, damn, like, your brother get popped on Monday. Then Wednesday, the other one die. And then Saturday, you get popped, bro. That'll be some shit, fam. Like they ain't even giving niggas time to retaliate. The parents, you're not supposed. To. That was like, nah, I ain't even finna definitely be too disrespectful, but yeah. Barry, your kids. The shady family know. standing here together in our position. My, my whole life has changed. Okay, I got one. What do you call a deer? No eyes. What? I don't know what you call a deer with a no eyes. I have no idea. <laughs> silly kids. They were very silly. <laughs> they were very they were a bunch Jokers. of comedians. Yeah. yeah, they were just silly. These niggas look like athletes, bro. He look like a big ass football player. He like probably the youngest one. Like, he wasn't doing too much. He probably playing video games and shit. Now him, he like he could probably be mixed up in a little bit of shit. You know what I'm it's more than one year after losing Brandon, Brian, and Bradley Veal in one week. Their family is still in the dark, both literally and figuratively. We're sitting here and we have you all in silhouettes because are you still living in, in some sort of fear? Or are you still kind of feeling like that you're in danger because this case hasn't been solved? Definitely, definitely. Um, to know that whoever the perpetrators are, are still walking around doing whatever and we have no idea who they could be or who they are. And while you haven't seen their faces, they've made sure their thoughts and voices are heard and seen. One of those voices is that of the boy's father, whose name we won't share. Every day is just a painful moment, so anybody experiencing, you know, death like that and then it being unsolved is a super unfairness. I was with my brother and we were out of town hanging out. We parted ways and my brother was driving home and I got a call. And he was very upset and he began to tell me what had just transpired with Brian. Brian Veal was shot and killed February 13th at Loyola and Washington in Central City. I actually got a call from my son because uh, his, his brothers was on, on scene. 
Brian Veal, the middle child, was murdered on the corner of Washington and Loyola on February 13th of 2021. As their family says they always are, the brothers were together. Brandon wasn't hurt, but Bradley, the youngest brother, was hit twice. He called me from jail. They detained him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, both of them. Both of them. Yeah, they said that was the only way that they could contain them and get control of the scene. It should be a normal thing to have hysterical brothers seeing their brother getting murdered on the street. We asked New Orleans police why the brothers, one who was suffering from two gunshot wounds, were allegedly detained. We did receive a response in time for this report, but we did request the incident report. And on it, no mention of the brothers being detained or why. So you're learning that your son, nephew, was murdered. Right. And your other two sons are in jail. So right. those are two things that that hit you at, at one at one time right they were walking down the street and they told me that the guys just picked on them they noticed a car following them and they finally pulled up on them and then they started shooting out of the car that's what he told me and when i talked with the detectives that's the same thing they said they had surveillance of the, the car pulling up and just shooting at them the surveillance video really is likely from a camera a close to the corner really of Washington and Loyola, where an NOPD well. crime camera is placed. Well, was that like surveillance ever revealed? Not to me. I haven't yeah, seen nothing. This family joined the ranks of so many families across New Orleans, devastated and confused. A bond between the Veal brothers broken, with Brian's life ripped from them in front of their very eyes. But Brian's murder was only the beginning of what would turn into a heartbreaking week for the family. You lose one of your sons and a week later, can you kind of take us back to that particular day? Earlier that day, my brother had gone up there to talk to his other two sons and the mother about getting everything finalized yeah. to bury Brian. And I had just sent them some money for them to eat that afternoon. My last words, that I heard from him was, we love you, Dad, thank you, thank you, Dad, we love you, man. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. Their father says the two brothers walked to the bank after speaking with their dad and later to a local McDonald's to get food. And on their way back home to feed their mom and themselves, they, they were murdered, they were ambushed. The father tells me detectives say a camera was also at the scene of that murder. Still, it wasn't captured. If it had happened a couple of seconds sooner, they could have gotten it off of the, the street camera. And I'm like, are you serious? These cameras don't work like they're supposed to every second? These boys were, were gentle yes, giants. <laughs> wow. I just want to debunk the whole idea about, you know, African-American men not taking care of their kids and those boys were loved they were not street kids they were they were not castaways they were not in that realm and it's castaways. just like every other we murder in the city away. you think that they did somebody mm -hmm. wrong that's why they were murdered mm -hmm. and that's the perception that people have when well, that's not the wild. case and you're looking it at three like unarmed a, three black unarmed. men this is from like the parents perspective it gotta be like one from the street perspective hold on what is their name the veal brothers let me see it gotta be one from like the opposite end like let us know the real because this is the my sons never did anything but ain't nobody wiping out a family you feel me without can I still, uh, you keep going there. The, if they were into something, right. it, if oh, my shit, brother, my fault. <laughs> Play. God damn. <laughs> and you're not going to play no more? Oh, I guess not. And ain't gonna play with no sound. Shit. This is wild though, but I wanna know, like, cause I feel like it's just something to the story we're not, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? 
Give me right, man. Wasn't highly publicized out of fear. We were very limited who we invited. I hired Jefferson Parish just to make sure that we didn't have any kind of incidents there. We're like, we sit here with you today knowing exactly what we knew back then. Nothing. Nothing. It's so hard to say goodbye. And it isn't for a lack of trying. Email correspondence between the brother's aunt and almost every level of city government show they've been in constant contact for a year straight. New Orleans police hope the donated billboard will be a visual reminder leading to new information. There were even billboards and bus stop signs purchased by the family with help from anonymous donors. We called in, but they said nothing really led to anything substantial. One email between the aunt and NOPD detectives indicates the suspect's vehicle was found. They tried to burn the vehicle, right. but they didn't, but they weren't, they, they weren't truly exactly. successful. They were able to uh, retrieve it before everything was burnt out, and so they sent it to get it swabbed for DNA and everything. With the dwindling police force and still in the dark more than a year later, the family says they've lost hope. Not in their fight to find answers, but in the very police department they're relying on for help to bring the Ville brothers' murderers to justice. I just think they're swamped. I just think they're smothered. Do you feel like it just... With them being understaffed and not taking the extra steps to bring extra help in is now at the expense of everyone in the community. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Admit you have a problem. If you have an issue, deal with it the, the, the right way and call in for help. Our elected officials need to step up and take control of our city. Yeah. We know nothing and we just want answers. They deserve that. So it is in this time, Lord, that we... Man, I'm gonna end it right there, bro. That shit, wow. If anybody know any other information or another video that give a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, let me know. Because now I ain't gonna lie. I kind of want to know what the fuck. Like, is it a... Like, somebody that got something against the parents? Is it the police doing this shit? Nigga, is it really just... The like unknown op they had that don't nobody know about, and like, you know, where they living a double life. You feel me? Oh, ain't no telling, bro. Like three of them in a less than a week, fam. That is a little bit wild, and that's kind of suspe su su suspicious, eh? Make me think a lot, smart guy. But nah, you know what I'm saying? You fuck with me, I fuck with you. Don't fuck. With